Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Achievers Atta. So guys, from today, I'm starting with a new concept series related to the UGC net paper one. So in this series, the topics which were asked in recent examination like UGC net June 2023, December 2022 or previous year exams, which are new in nature and that concepts were not yet covered in anywhere. So that type of concept I'm bringing as a new concept series. As part of that, first concept is that observational research, right? So for uh, more free sessions and all, you can subscribe to this channel and download our learning app Achievers Adda 24 by 7 from the link given in the description or from the Google Play Store Achievers Adda 24 by 7, which is useful for your teaching competitive examination and thereof. And here, our course also going on. You can just go through with the app and free uh, lectures also will be uploaded there only. And test series also will be there, everything. So let's get started with a observational research. What do you mean by observational? The word meaning first we need to understand. Observation means we are observing someone. We are observing someone in that what research is going to be there. It is not about observing someone, observing a thing or observing a situation. From that observation, what are the insights that we are gaining? And what we are as a what we are making a conclusion? What uh, conclusion we are able to draw that is called as an observational research. In observational research, we usually identify the behavior of a situation or behavior of a person. Suppose we will observe a person. When we observe a person, we will identify that his behavior, how he is behaving, how he is interacting with others. Without directly interacting with him, we are just keeping an eye on him. That means we are observing him. We are observing the entire environment. We are observing the entire object. So it aims, it aims to understand the natural behavior, natural pattern, natural outcome, whatever in the real world context, we are able to identify by our own observation, our own experience. So the findings can offer the insights, but not a definite proof of casuation. It can give you some data, but Whatever you observe, it may not be true always. Whatever you perceive, you may not be true always. You may see that, but that is your observation. If the same situation, if somebody is observing, it may differ. Right? So, example, like animal migration pattern. Scientists observe that there are many animals are migrating from South Africa to India or other country to India, India to some other country. It is migrating. That is their observation. May be true, may not be true. And children's play behavior. Psychologists watch now the children interact on the playground. How children interact on a playground. So how now uh, they are not even going to a playground. They are always engaged in a mobile phone only. That's their behavior which may not always be true. All the child may not be same as using in mobile. So that differ from observation to observation. Here another term used in place of observational research is that field research. Because researcher will go into the field. Researcher will directly engage into the situation, will directly observe what he can able to see, what he can able to hear, what he can able to sense it. By using his sense of organ, he will observe everything. Right? Since a researcher has to be there in the natural environment, so individual perception will vary here. So there are four main types of participant observation, guys. Participant observation is another separate research. Non-participant observation, covert observation, overt observation. These are the four main types of observation, which we don't know. Actually, you have to understand this because in question, they are emphasizing covert and overt and participant. I'll also explain the question. I'll make you to solve. So here, observational research method, if you look at overt, what is overt? Here, in overt observational type, Participants of research, they know very well, we are the researchers and we are observing them. Like I think Hanthron studies of Elton Mayo, you might have remembered, Elton Mayo Hanthron studies. In Elton Mayo Hanthron studies, we can easily sense it that uh, the when Elton Mayo conducted a, a Hanthron studies at that particular factory in uh, that country, UK, the laborers know that she is conducting an experiment or he is conducting an experiment on them. When they know their behavior will be artificial behavior. Correct now? Because here when, when 
they know that we are observing them their behavior is so much artificial like when the boy is looking at the girl it will be different so participants know that they are being observed here no ethical issues but natural behavior will not be there somehow artificial behavior will be there. behavior may not be a natural behavior will be a artificial in nature because they know that you are observing them they tend to be artificial next covert means they don't know that you are observing them they don't know that researcher is observing them they are the participants are unaware that they are being observed here there is a high ecological validity means ethical issues may arise ethical issues because they don't know na they may reject that i don't want to be in the study who asked you to observe me who asked you to include in your research i never given my consent to you how can you take me without my permission without my consent how can you take me into your study like that there is a possibility of ethical issues will arise but behavior will be a natural behaviors behavior will be a so much natural behavior will be there in this natural behavior tend to be a natural because they don't know that we are observing there will be a natural and we can take whatever the conclusion we want by observing them according to the reality or the naturality next participant observation research here the observer becomes actively involved in the participants of the uh, people are being studied so suppose we will select a 100 member of people we will ask them to fill our questionnaire and we will go to that 100 members and we will ask them to we will ask them a different different question how they will respond to a different different question we will note it down we will record each and every so we will record and each and every participant that we selected actively engaged in the research they are easier to understand the observer behavior here also ecological validity is very high because they are actively engaged but here very hard to record the observation very hard to record the observation retrospective means each and every person and their their behavior recording is too much typical at a time because at a time they'll react so it will be very difficult for the researcher to record them in accurate way so there the reliability will come down your observer can become involved with the participants and the data also subjective in nature that is more of qualitative in nature data their their point of view only we are trying to understand now participant perspective only we are trying to understand that is why it is participant perspective or participant observation what is their observation we are observing and recording so your 100 minds we have to read at a time and record it whereas non participant research is an researcher observing a observing from a distance. researcher observing from a distance researcher observing from a distance so observations are made as as they happen more reliable in nature more reliable in nature here non participant means actually they are not the participant of our research they are is more of like a covert only but they are observing from a long distance we don't know who they are we are just observing them as it is as they are suitable for our research so however it is happening we will observe that is more reliable natural in nature and lack of we will not contact with them but here in covert we will try to contact even though without permission we will try to contact actually because we are very near to them in the covert here we are from a distance observing lack of contact so they maintain objectivity which is qualitative in nature and behavior recorded meaning behind is unknown whatever the behavior that you recorded by observing them from a distance may not have that much because what you recorded or what actually they have understood or they their perspective don't know when you don't know but still you recorded as a researcher from observing uh, uh, from very distance the disadvantage only the meaning of the record whatever the observation that you have done the meaning is not clear not clear not reliable in nature right now you can answer this question in the chat box pause the video for a one minute and read this question in observational research the variables are actively manipulated and the environment is controlled as controlled as possible actively manipulated environment is as controlled as possible observational research observational research allows you to eliminate the influence of many external factors 
any extraneous fact. These are the two statements. Which statement is true? Which statement is false? Are both are true or both are false? We need to identify. Look at observational manipulated variables are manipulated and environment is controlled as much as possible. It will allow you to eliminate the influence of many extraneous extraneous variables means the variables which are extraneous variable meaning I am telling you the variables which are not in your study but there is a possibility of influence on your study which are called as an extraneous you need to keep them as a constant because there is a possibility of influencing your study because these are all not part of your study but there is a possibility to become your study some part of your study so you need to keep them constant if you are not keeping them constant they will come and influence your decision so that's a second state which one is correct i hope you answered in the comment box now i will reveal the answer and explain answer is true why both the statements are false why both the statements are false you have to understand here we cannot manipulate the variable in observation whatever we observe as it is natural phenomenon or it is an artificial phenomenon will record that only will not manipulate any variable our observation we are recording it that's it and it is uncontrolled situation in overt observation so you can control but in covert what you can control participants are unaware about it in non participants also you cannot control so they stated it is as controlled as possible which is wrong and observation allows you to eliminate actually when manipulation is not possible it will not make you to add or eliminate any type of factors researcher does not have any control in manipulation elimination addition researcher duty is to observe and observe and record from the record draw the conclusion that's it there is no need to eliminate or nothing nothing is possible here manipulation elimination addition deletion of any factors or controllability all these are not features of observation that i have written over here you can understand right so if you want to join our courses you can join in ugc net jr of december 2023 45 days arjuna batch is going on for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce combo all the tenures of both papers full revision with a chart wise presentation of paper 1 and paper 2 and topic wise explanation of each and every unit of paper 1 and paper 2 with a pdf everything you can able to download and it will be equally useful for k set g set wb set 2023 november exams which are going to happen revision charts for the both paper and paper 2 commerce topic wise previous year questions with explanation and pdf you will be able to download all the pdfs are downloadable and printable and you can keep it with you lifetime live classes will be there morning 9 am commerce evening 7 pm paper 1 everything if you miss the live recording will be automatically available and you can also put the videos in offline without consuming internet you can watch them whenever you are free monday to friday one day di uh, one di and mr questions okay. dedicated doubt clearing sessions will also be possible so dedicated whenever you get a doubt every every weekend or else every week there will be a one to one zoom meet also is possible when we conduct a meet you can ask the questions the one to one interaction with and 10 to 15 questions we are adding on topic wise for the both paper 1 and paper 2. However, the topic is going on related to same topic, quiz is getting added. So, you can practice and uh, understand. Understanding can be improved. The performance will be improved with concept. Mock test will be launched before the exam, 15 to 20 days. It will get launched automatically. You can build to for paper 1 and paper 2, it will get launched. And while solving the question, you will have a leaderboard, poll and leaderboard uh, experience will be. So, you can join into Arjuna. Arjuna Batch, just download the Achieva Sada Learning app from the Google Play Store or the link given and join in our Telegram group or the various social media platforms so that you will get updated. So, actually, the price is that 7000, but offer price is that 4500, which is going on. You can use the Arjuna code. Actually, that offer also ended. See, anybody wants the offer, then you can utilize the code Arjuna for both paper one and paper two. If it is only paper one, then Arjuna one you can mention. Capital letter. Thank you so much. If you have any doubt, you can uh, uh, contact me on the WhatsApp given number which is given. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye to all. Have a good day.